expect Yannick to pull back slightly to give time for his cube to come in, but no, it does look like he's going to come in with the spheres to take on the torpedo platform as well as the phaser platform. Torpedo platform putting out a nice amount of damage. And it's got a very nice defensive value at 92 versus 69 for the phaser platform. However, it is just not enough against the spheres along with the diamond and bring order to chaos. The diamond itself doing its own bit of damage with, I believe, an artillery range weapon. No, excuse me. It's a long range weapon. My mistake. Okay. And there we go. That torpedo platform being able to suck up quite a bit of damage. And, you know, just Lupus trying to make a last stand but not being able to do much as we see Boz going down here into Shute's base. Going to, we got this little fleet of bugs and the B8 War Frigate is just going to be torn apart right now. Boggs is going to... there's the decloak and just there... oh and the, the War Frigate again being held in place by that chart while the bugs are taken out by the rest of the ships and we see the Vorta doing their thing and again another charge just using their beams left and right making some very nice patterns with the green and the blue Christmassy time folks we got some red and green here it's Christmas let's celebrate the holidays as we look up here and more decommissioning from Lupus we'll, we don't know if Yanda will even get anything out of his cube we got a good game from Chute that's it folks and in getting the cube out though not getting much of it oh it's got quite a bit it looks like torpedo torpedo more torpedoes although it does have beam compensation so it does appear that it is a tactical armor beam torpedo maybe regen in there moving over to Lupus's base let's see if they can get if it can get anything on it. Ooh, we got 20 se 26 seconds over here before another weapon's ready. However, that, yeah, once the shields are gone, the Starfleet Command just takes a ton of damage. While we look over here and the cube comes up, and Box is moving in with his little fleet of ships. Well, not so little fleet. We've got our veteran boards, we've got our Vorcha, and of course our Chargs. Just aim for the yard, the poor Vorcha taking a little bit of hit from there. And here we go, the push in to take out the Dominion Starbase by Boggs' fleet. Ooh, and unfortunately Boggs is, might just lose his poor veteran court. He's going to try and get it away, and he is going to be able to get that vet court away. But still attack, keep it in there, why not? Just attack from here. And here we go. And we see that, yes, Yannin is moving in with his cube. Going to do the same for his base. The cube is just going to, well, wipe it out. And we see the diamond having being used its special. And Yannin is just going to kill his base. Fun times, fun times and we'll just watch the pretty explosions. So, let's watch. And as we can see from Boggs, yes, the Starbase is being able to take quite a bit of damage and putting the damage out himself. Boggs having to move the Vorcha and away, not getting hit. And the Starbase goes down as Shite tries to move a, a miner away, which can turn into a constructor. While Lupus has done the same, however, the chance to rebuild is not quite there. As we see that Lupus is very quickly losing his upgraded Starbase to that little Borkley. Little as in huge, I mean.
and then a 3, 2, and I was wrong with the counting, but there the star base goes. The couple of constructors away from them, even though there was a good game, Boggs and Yanda might be going a little out of their minds trying to figure out what they have not yet killed. However, I would be concerned we had the GG, I would be expecting someone to drop out fairly soon. As we see, and then moving over to the left. Sorry folks, not exactly... Oop, sorry about that. Not exactly the most exciting commentary right now. Basically, it's just a cleanup operation. And we see an experimental yard from someone. But where? Where or where? Or maybe I was just seeing things I could be wrong. Oh no. Oh wow. Here's Shute putting down an experimental yard to try and build a dreadnought. However, I do not believe he has not the resources nor the time to build that dreadnought. As I do believe it takes about six minutes to research. And let's take a look. 383 seconds. So actually a bit more than five minutes. And we just see Yannon's fleet just moving down. Oh, is Yannon going to stop there? Is he not? What's he going to do? Is he going to go down and take it out? And we see them just basically having fun right here. Not a whole lot going on, folks. So if you're tired of this, please feel free to sign off. Well, I'm just going to watch because I enjoy it. And it's fun to, it's nice to see people have fun. This was a very nice match between America versus Hungary. Hungary. I do apologize again if I mispronounce your country's names. Please, please forgive me. I'm only but an American. As we see that, it does appear that Yannin's waiting for Box. They, they know the yard's there. They're, they're moving up. He's moving up with his ship. No, no, they don't know quite where the yard is. Boggs has sent his ships on search and destroy. There it goes. Now they see the yard. They know where it is. I think Yandin is now going to be moving down with his ships, although we see Boggs coming down here with the Veclara. And Boggs is attacking with scouts. He is using the Not Douche, folks, to attack that poor, poor, or constructor. However, as we see, the Knock Douge, unlike all the other scouts, do do quite a bit of damage. And Shute has quit the game. That's it. That's done. And thank you for watching this Fleet Ops audio commentary. Thank you to all our players. It was a very interesting game. Thank you to America and Hungary for this nice uh, transcontinental game, if that's the right term. I don't know if it is. But this is how, and I'm out. See you.